Hi, happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope you are celebrating in a fun way, whether it's you're building a leprechaun trap or you're wearing green like me. Um, I know Krispy Kreme has green donuts, so maybe you can get one of those today. Um, my favorite thing to do for Max and Mackenzie is we just um, pour a cup of milk and we put some green food coloring in it and we drink some um, uh, green milk. So however you are celebrating today, I hope you are having fun. I know we celebrated a little bit in the classroom on Friday and we might do one or two more things um, on Monday. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but today I thought I could celebrate St. Patrick's Day with you by reading a St. Patrick's Day book and it is titled The Night Before St. Patrick's Day. "'Twas the night before St. Patrick's Day, the day to wear green. Not a creature was stirring except Tim and Maureen. They decked out the den from ceiling to floor with streamers and rainbows and shamrocks galore. Later, they carefully made traps with gold charms and rings. I bet we catch a leprechaun. They love shiny things. For if they caught one, so the legend told, they'd find where he buried his big pot of gold. So they're making a plan. Remember, we made a plan on Friday. They set all the traps round the room with great care in hopes a wee Irishman soon would be theirs. The children then nestled all snug in their beds while visitor, oh, I'm sorry, while visions of golden coins danced in their heads. Happy St. Patty's, said Dad early the next morning. Then he started to play bagpat bagpipes without warning. He huffed and he puffed an old Irish song. Mom dished out green eggs and sang loudly along. There's another book about green eggs. Do you remember what it's called? When from their bedroom there arose such a clatter the kids ran down the hallway to see what was the matter. And what to their wondering eyes should appear? But a terrible mess. A leprechaun was here. Oh my goodness, look at that mess. Be quiet, whispered Maureen. He's hiding somewhere. When we find him, remember, we must hold his stare. For if you look away, if you so much as blink, leprechauns vanish quick as a wink. The kids trailed muddy footprints back and forth across the floor, which led them under Tim's bed and past the closet door. And then inside a trap, they heard someone giggling. A real live leprechaun! They both saw him wiggling. His eyes, how they twinkled, his body so tiny. His hand clasped a trinket so golden and shiny. He was dressed in all green from his head to his toes, and he looked like a cobbler wearing fairy-sized clothes. The children approached him, staring straight in his eyes. Tell us where the gold is. Don't be tricky, no lies. I buried it under a rock. Smooth and hard. It's marked with an X right in your backyard. Oh, look at the puppy in his green tie. He's wearing green for St. Patrick's Day. But when the kids went outside with their shovel and pick, they instantly saw it had been a big trick. What was the big trick? Can you see? It's a lot of rocks with a lot of X's. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Ha ha ha, I fooled you, it's time to disappear. Happy St. Patty's Day to you and better luck next year. 
That was a really funny book. He did trick them at the end. Can you think of a trap that might catch a leprechaun? And if you can, draw it and then bring it into school and you can share it for share, okay? And I'll see you next time. Bye. Happy St. Patrick's Day.